Masters of the Universe is a 1987 American fantasy film based on the Masters of the Universe franchise by Mattel. Yeah, we're talking about this film. It was directed by Gary Goddard and written by David O'Dell. The main cast includes Dolph Lundgren, Frank Langella, John Cipher, Chelsea Field, Billy Barty, Courtney Cox, Robert Duncan McNeil, and Meg Foster, and focuses on two teenagers who have a chance meeting with He-Man, who has travelled to Earth to stop Skeletor from obtaining a cosmic key that will enable him to take over Returnia. Following its release, this movie was a critical and commercial failure, only grossing $17 million worldwide against a budget of $22 million. It was met with negative reviews from film critics, but to some is now regarded as a cult film, and quite personally, I myself enjoy it. Not a lot more to say about this movie, to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, it takes place on Earth instead of Eternia, and so there's a weird mishmash of fantasy and modern stylings that are going on, which is probably what led to its failure. But despite that, there was a video game released by Gremlin Graphics in 1987 for the ZX Spectrum, the MSX, the Commodore 64, and of course the reason we're here, the Amstrad CPC 464. And here's our Masters of the Universe title screen, and as you can see, it's based on the Dolph Lundgren film, which was met with mixed reviews. Um, the best part was, of course, Frank Langella as Skeletor. I mean, that was a command performance. So, um, okay. I'm He-Man and I seem to have a gun. But then again, in this incarnation, he did, didn't he? Do you know what this is getting me, giving me vague vibes of? Well, it's kind of like a cross between Gauntlet and Vindicators. So these are the, I don't know what you'd call them really, are these kind of like Stormtroopers? Skeletor's Stormtroopers? I'll tell you what they can do though, they can sod right off. Uh, okay. Oh, hello. He-Man picking up signals from a scrapyard. Meet me there. I can only just about read that. Okay. Oh, it says north up. I mean, I think, is this, is that the way, oh, hello. Is that the way I need to go then? Is I just need to go north? Is that what that arrow is telling me? Uh, okay, that increased my health, that's nice. Now, I like the idea that I can just avoid these enemies. Oh, not if that happens, I can't. Uh, I don't need that health pickup right now. I dare say I will do in the future, though. I like how just running into enemies just destroys them. That's pretty cool takes all of the effort out. Right, okay, well I guess we're going down then. Well, this is getting a bit frantic. What the hell is that? I found a cord. Okay. Now, I haven't seen this film in many, many, many years, so I completely forget the plot. So somebody's gonna have to tell me in the comments, why is He-Man walking around picking up cords? Get rid of you just because. Oh, okay, we'll get rid of you and all. Um. <laughs> Come on, take me to another screen, at least. Right, here we go. Uh, I can't go north. Uh, 
maybe this that isn't the way I'm supposed to be going. Maybe that is just the relative direction to the way I'm facing. Oh, and I just took a fair bit of damage there. Maybe it might be an idea for me to try and get back to the town. Oh, that was a horrible noise. Right, sorry, that was my fault. I paused it. I was thinking that maybe if I paused it, I might be able to access some semblance of a map, but no. Right, definitely need that. Oh, that's a full health pickup. Right, okay, well, we'll avoid that then. I think, is this where I came in? It might have been. I don't necessarily need to avoid these guys. I can't. See, now, you can't shoot whilst you're on the move. He-Man can't shoot from the hip as it were. So you kind of, you can face diagonally and you can move diagonally, but you can't shoot diagonally, which is unfortunate. Pew pew me. Oh, is this, this is the way I came already. Right. Weird, because it's like a perspective shift. Well, not perspective as such, but a sort of orientation shift. Well, you could do with some variation in the enemies. Although, to be fair, packs of these guys when they attack you in groups are kind of tricky enough. Can I go up that ladder? If there's a ladder there and I can't go up it, then it's just taunting me. There we go. Right, so what's on the rooftop? Nothing. Nothing. What was that? don't know. I think I... Uh, okay, somehow I've got full health again. Or did an enemy just spawn right next to me and I just walked into it? I've just realised I also have a life counter, so that could have been the fact that I just lost all of my health and I lost a life, and now I've kind of walked into a dead end. Right, okay. Where are we going? We're going to go this way. I, I like that sound effect when they spawn in. Ooh. It's quite cool. I like that. I've always liked that sort of sound effect. It's boo. Oh, hello again. Human key traced to shop called Charles. Meet me there. Uh, again. Okay. Why is the shop called Charles? What about the owner? What's the owner's name? Right now, I'm just content with just running into these stormtroopers. Can I go up this ladder? No. Is, was that the same ladder? Oh, this is, oh hang on, let's go, what's up here? Oh, is this the way into the woods? He man just tanking damage like a boss. Because he is a boss. Does this look familiar? I don't know, I can't remember now. These guys remind me of maybe they look like um, horde troopers. Is what they look like, just 
blue, not grey. Oh, uh, hello, what are you? I would very, very much appreciate if you went away. Don't like the idea of flying thingies. We are making good pro- well, are we making good progress? I don't know. What I'm getting so far though is very confused. I don't know where I'm going, what I'm doing. I avoided those quite nicely though. Got him just as he teleported out. Another weird flying thing, which caused one of the uh, troopers, I'm going to call them troopers, as in horde troopers, um, caused one of the troopers to get shot at. But... Right, now we have two flying things and two troopers. There's a little turning animation that He-Man has actually, that's a nice little bit of detail. It's not helping me right now, but it's a nice bit of detail. It's just... Right, let's get out of this area. Let's go this way. Okay, I'm at another crossroads. We'll carry on going the same direction then. He man. Fine. Change direction. Do you know what? I think I might actually just stop here because I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing. I'm just getting immensely confused and this is getting us nowhere. So I'm going to leave it there guys, um, but let's talk about it. Right, so. I didn't know anything about this game going into it, and considering the source material, and I'm not going to say that the Masters Universe film was great, I personally enjoy it, but I was expecting this game to absolutely stink. However, what I was met with was an interesting concept, um, and the game itself wasn't too bad. Uh, it was a bit confusing as to what you had to do and where you had to go. But, all in all, I think it was alright, you know? Um, I think it was alright. As I said before, it kind of reminds me of a, like a cross between Vindicators and Gauntlet. Uh, which, don't worry guys, I'm not going to put it in between Vindicators and Gauntlet. But, the sort of concept of it, the sort of 8-way shoot 'em up with recurring spawning enemies you know it's 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 an interesting concept if there was more direction in the game I think it might be a little bit more enjoyable I mean you had those little boxes those little screens that popped up with the character that told you oh there's something in the scrapyard and oh there's something at the uh, at the shop but it doesn't tell you where the scrapyard is or where the shop is or even sort of a direction to go in relative to where you are and sometimes when you leave a screen, the screen that you come onto doesn't look like it's kind of in the same facing as the one that you left. So like if you if you go round the corner, you might end up sort of facing in a different direction, which is a little bit disorientating, to be perfectly honest with you. But overall, you know, I, I didn't mind that. I didn't mind that. I could see how with maybe a bit of preparation or maybe with a map 
Um, you know, you might be able to have a bit of fun with that, going around blasting troopers and whatever those weird flying things were. Um, it would have been interesting to have seen what Skeletor looks like in this game, to be perfectly honest with you. But, yeah. Yeah. Overall, I was pleasantly surprised, I have to say. Um, is it the greatest game I've played during this series? No. But is it the worst? Not that either. Is it going to make our leaderboard though? Well, I don't think so to be perfectly honest with you. Uh, Amstrad Action I think gave this something like 42% and I'm inclined to agree-ish, maybe. I might round that up. I might give it around 50. It's as it stands with no direction, it's kind of quite confusing. Um, although it can be quite fun for the first, I don't know, say five or ten minutes just going around shooting the troopers, but you soon find yourself quite lost. So if there was more direction, then that score might go up a bit. If it was clear as to how to progress through the game. Uh, the graphics look nice, the sound effects are great, I was enjoying the sound effects. Um, overall, it's not a bad game. It's, I th Like I said, I thought it was going to be a complete mess. But it's not. It's not. It's alright. It's alright. And that's my opinion. Feel free to let me know how wrong I am in the comments. Thank you very much for watching this video, and indeed the whole of my Amstrad Anniversary series. Uh, so, I hope to see you for the next one, which will be the awards for the best Amstrad Anniversary game. But until then, I'll catch you later. Bye-bye.